Now that you've typed your autobiography, you have your bullet points on the top and you have your paragraphs on the bottom, now is the time to insert your image. You will notice that I've shared a folder with you with your teacher's name and it will say photographs with the date that I uploaded the images, the photographs. So what I want you to do right now is to open up your autobiography. Once you open the autobiography, make sure that it's completely finished. And I want you to click on slide number two. Go to insert image. Now you're going to do this based off of your Google Drive and I shared it with you so it's underneath your shared with me. You will have more documents here. I just have a few. So I'm going to click on your teacher's name and then you can switch the view. So if yours looks like this, you can switch it to the grid view. Then you're just going to locate your picture, put a check mark there and select it. It will insert your image into your presentation. At this point you can feel free to adjust the size if you need to so it fits still on your slide. Remember this rectangle right here is where your slide is and this will be the front of your trading card. Once you have slide number one finished and slide number two you do need to duplicate the slide so you're going to right click on the slide and duplicate it. You're going to right click on this slide and duplicate it. Now remember slides one and three oops I'll try that again. Slides one and three should be your information. Slides two and four should be your picture. All right, now I want you to try this. Remember, go to insert, locate it from your shared with me drive. Be very responsible and just look at your image. Insert just your image. Thank you.